This story is called All Over the World by Vicente Rivera Jr. So, nagsugod ang story one evening in August 1941. This guy, yung pangan kay Felix, came home from the movie theaters to a cold, silent night. Pero love man dyan niya ang mga empty streets, labi na at night. So, pag uli niya sa ilaha, where he lived in an apartment, iyang na-notice nga, ang study table or ang study area kay on gihapon ang lights. So, nagtuo siya nga it was because of him because mag-study man ta siya a while ago but then, he went to the movie theaters instead. So, iyang gato dito to turn off the lights and to his surprise, na siya nakita bata about 11 years old and ang bata kay nagbasa sa iyahang libro nga title kay Greek Myths. So, night dead silence na duha kay na-surprise man siya kay wala pa man siya kita aning bata ah. Pero to cut off the dead silence, yung ipangota na ang bata. If nagpuyo ba ang bata around there. Pero ang bata kay nauwaw man ni Barog siya dayo na nana siya og I'm sorry. Kay iya magibasa ang libro ni Felix. Pero Felix noticed that the girl or the kid wanted to finish the story. So, iyang gi-offer nga pwede hulman sa bata ang book para iyang mahuman. And then, he also found out nga ang bata di ay kay niece sa janitor which is Mang Lucio. And also, her name was Maria. So, pag human ato, human ato nga encounter, yan na sila good night and then went home separately. Pag-abot ni Felix sa ilaha, nakauna na siya, 21 years old naman ko, uy, and I already have my first job, but my salary is not that high, pero, I mean, that that much, pero at least, my life seems good. So, after one week ato, mga early evening, nakita na sa niya si Maria, naglakaw, hinay kaayo. Ang gisulob ni Maria kay white dress, nga murag karaan na kaayo and then a pair of brown sneakers that used to be white so to sound casual niya na si Felix ni Maria hello but Maria being shy igura siya ni smile and then looked away quickly wala dyan nagtingog-tingog si Maria wala sad siya pero wala man sad siya ni pahawa or wala man sad siya ni palayo ni Felix and then kahit kalit lang ni tanaw kalit si Maria ni Felix and ni Anna nga iyan na daw iuli ang book because apparently she was done. Mauto ga kuyog sila padung sa house ni Maria or sa house ni Mang Lucio, the janitor. Pagsulod ni Maria kay para kuwaon ang book, iya jung gisirado ang door. Mauto paggawas na sad niya kay iya nang ihatag ang book. Nagdali-dali ang tasyag sulod but then Felix introduced himself kay wa pa dito sila nagkaila-ila niya. So ni Ana si Felix nga, by the way, I'm Felix. Ni smile ra again si Maria, and then ni sudra sa dayon. So, even though the smile was just a smile, para ni Felix, nana sila bond together, like, it was a friendship sign siguro for Felix. So, Felix went home happily whistling. August is a month where the weather feels warm and a little bit summer. So, one day when Felix was done with his job or from the office he went to this park because he was exhausted so ganahan siya nga the whole afternoon iya rang spend time para siyang self but to his surprise again Maria was there sitting on one of the benches so yung ipangota na si Maria do you come here often? Maria said of course yes I go everywhere where I want to go Bisag-asa, madam ko bisag-asa, kung asa lang ko ganahan. Nya, nahibong si Felix, kay dili di siya kasabaan ni Mang Lucio. Muta na nguta na siya kung kasabaan ba siya. Na naman si Maria nga, wala rada pa kay si Mang Lucio. And so, there then, nagtabi sila duha, nya na found out ni Felix nga wala na day parents si Maria. And moto ang nag-take care niya kay si Mang Lucio na and Maria was already in grade 6. Apparently, bisag nagtabi sila, Maria was a bit silent niya. 
gagmay ra kayo hiyang replies ni Felix. So, ni Anna nga si Felix nga, I know you like reading. Pag humanog ingon ni Felix ato, wala na, silence na. Nya, naglingkod na sila dito, nagpahangin, nya, nag-unwind siguro. And then, September came, which is the monsoon season. Feel ni Felix, nanodod sila friendship ni Maria. Bahalag, they talk infrequently. At least, if magkita sila daw, kay magkatabi gihapon sila niya na sila friendship, though there were silences, at least na sila friendship. And then, November came. Nibalik na sad ang warm season. After that, November was finished, and then December came. Nya, yeah, niulit siya sa ilaha, sa province, mga three days. And then, pagbalik niya dito sa apartment, everything seemed different. Kay apparently, the world war has started. Pagsood niya sa iyang room, nahibong siya na si Maria dito, naghilak. Naniana si Maria na she was afraid. She was afraid of the dark. And so Felix said, aren't you afraid of the dark when you sleep because you turn off the lights? And Maria replied, this darkness is different. This darkness is all over the world. Imagine, bata ka niya maka-experience ka og world war. It would be very sad. After ato, wala na jud sila nagkatabi. As in, wala na. Kay nag-training na si Felix for the war. And then, the war started. Uban tao kay nangita nag-evacuation ng centers. And also, ni move na sila to other houses. Kay dili safe sa intramuros. Na ay time nga ni visit o balik si Felix dito sa apartment. Nga to siya ni Mang Lucio. Nangutan na siya kung asa si Maria. But Maria was with her aunt. Nangita sila o katulgan, kastehan nga mas safe. Si Mang Lucio ra ang nabilin dito sa may apartment. Ni Ana si Felix nga mga to na siya singgalong. Kay dito, there was a house that they could live in and was much safer during the war. And so, nangutan na sa dyan ni Mang Lucio if ever asa mga ato sila Mang Lucio kung nanabi sila nakitan nga balay lain. Nyanyana si Mang Lucio wa daw siya kahibaw asa sila mga ato. Which is sad knowing that maybe because they don't have enough money to buy another house or to transfer to another place. Si Felix, dito na natog sa may apartment, though wala na kaayoy gamit because the things were transferred to Singalong. Pagmata niya, nagloto si Maria o fried rice for him. So, nangutan na siya ni Maria. Asa man mong mga dosay mong uncle? Wala pa ba mo kakita og house to live where it's safer? Tubag si Maria, I don't know. Moto, niya na si Felix, giingnan kasi mong uncle nga. Maadto na kong singgalong. Niya na si Maria, kahibaw siya. So, niya na si Felix nga. Ay ka bala ka mo, balik ko this afternoon. Maari ko diri, balikon ta mo. Moto, nilakaw siya. And then, niuli siya sa singgalong. Dito siya ni Kaon. And then, ihang gitan ang ihang things, if okay na ba. Pag evening, Anna, nibalik siya dito sa apartment. Pero, ang pinakasad na moment, pag abot niya dito, wala na itaw. Niya, pagpangita niya, ni Mang Lucio, o ni Maria, ni Anna ang mga volunteers, volunteers for the war, nga nagbanta dito ang dapita, nga, there wasn't anybody living there anymore. And that's the end of the story. For me, for me, reading this story, ang lesson jud ani is that muragug karong pandemic nga we have to treasure our friendships kay we don't know what is going to happen in the next days. And that would be all. Thank you.